Okay, folks, uh, now I have a video here of, of the inside of Grace Church in Morganton, which is just beautiful. I've been doing a little bit of work for these folks. I'm just going to show their stained glass. It really is very pretty. I'm going to stop right about here because there's a lady's head there in front of me. So we'll start right along in here. I'm going to set my end point and my out point. And uh, what I want to talk a little bit about on this video, we'll change sequences. Let's finally do that. Let's talk a little bit about opacity and uh you know, how you can affect things with these with this effect controls up here. And you see, when you click on this effects tab, there's absolutely nothing happening up here right now because nothing is selected. Anytime you select a clip in this window, by default, there are a set of effects that are available here. You've got motion, you've got opacity, time remapping, you've got volume, channel volume, panner, so you can do some audio. These are just some of the things that... that uh, Adobe knows you're going to be doing a lot of from time to time. Motion, making things move a little bit, and making things opaque or uh, not opaque. So once again, let's let's look at, at maybe doing a title or something here. Or maybe we want to put some, maybe we want to put something really pretty, maybe a cross or something here. I'm still going to do a new title, I think. Because uh, we can d demonstrate this as well, the titles and anything. We'll say cross and text. I'm going to say OK. Now if I had Adobe Illustrator, which if you if you get uh, the Adobe Creative Suite rather than just the Adobe, you know, package here, then you can then you can get uh, Illustrator, then this might be better done with Illustrator. But I'm going to draw kind of a cross here. It's going to be kind of a nice thing. We'll have this up in the top. I'm just using the little uh, rectangle tool here. And I'm just kind of eyeballing across we might have and we might decide to say grace episcopal church down here over maybe over to the side here maybe under the cross g or a c this will be maybe like a little watermark or something you'd have so here we go and uh, that might not be the place I want all that stuff to go so I'm going to click on the pointer up here I'm going to do a control A and grab all that maybe I want this to be maybe I do want this to be kind of down here and you know what maybe I want Grace Episcopal to come down a little lower something like that maybe I want this maybe to be a little smaller I can just you know what I did I just drug over both of them so I selected both I want my cross to be a little smaller there we go like that so maybe this is sort of like a lower third, but but what I really want to show you about is opacity inside the uh, the uh, not the title. I could go in here and I could change opacity here, but let's look at how you do it inside of the effects uh, module. So I'm gonna say save. Now this could be a lot of different things. I'm not even show you how to do a piece of video on top of some video here in a second. So we close that, we create it's a little lower third. I'm gonna pull it on top of this. So let's say we do want to be able to see through this. We want it to kind of be ghosted there. We don't want to be able to, it to be such a harsh thing all the time on the screen. So I'm going to, while I, I've got this highlighted, right? I highlighted the cross and the text. I'll click off, click off so you can see. It's pink when it's not highlighted, but now it's highlighted and we can see. I'm going to go up here over opacity. I'm just going to change the opacity to 60%. So now let's make it 40%. Now, as I move over the video, that will stay there. But as you can see, you can see parts of the uh, wall, parts of the lights, uh, parts of the stained glass through that piece of video. Maybe we want it to be even less. Maybe we want it to be 20%. And it's just a little light thing that's there. It's not so obtrusive anymore, is it? See, this works for anything we want to put in here. Let's say we want to do a, a montage. Let's say there's maybe another piece of the church uh, video I want to show here. So let me go back over here where the church video is. Here it is, 040, I've got 39. And so I've got this right here too. And yet this is gonna look really weird and it's probably not gonna look good at all, but we're gonna pull this piece of video. So we're going uh, down with this video too. I'll start right here. And we'll go down with this video while we're going down with the other video. So this is not gonna look good, but I just want you to understand how it works. I'm gonna pull just the video, not the audio. And so I'm going to pull this over to the beginning and over here to the end. So now I can even go up here under the effects control and I can tell this to be a certain amount of opaqueness, right? So I go here under opacity and I can say 40% of this. And so now I have two pieces of video at one time 
moving here. And how often we do something like that? Not very often, but there are times when you'll have, like say you had a praying hands or something up here, right? Or you had a, a parishioner up here looking up toward heaven and you want them to you just, to scroll down with the uh, stained glass here and here's a person, a parishioner praying, or something like that. It's kind of the cool thing to know you can do it, that you can control all this opacity over here. Now, uh, I think we need to also talk about keyframes. And so we're going to talk about keyframes in the next video. It's about time to start that mess. So let's move on.